Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Technical Vocabulary where we learn meaning and definition of several technical words. As a part of today's tutorial, we are talking about test oracle, which is a little new word for most of the people, but of course very important when it comes to understanding these terminologies. A test oracle is something which is being determined as a particular object or a documentation or source which determines the expected result of a particular test case. Now, of course, you do know about test cases and you do understand that test case is all about determining or evaluating a particular functionality in the application. Now, of course, to do that, whenever you run the test cases or when you write the test cases first, you do mention something called as expected result, that what do you expect to happen if a user performs these steps on the application? And that's what is your test case put together. Now, expected result has to be determined based on certain things, and that could be anything, and that is what you call it as test oracle. For example, it could be the software itself, which you could have probably released earlier. Now you're trying to create a new version of it. So considering the previous application, you call it as a benchmark and make use of it to determine the expected result. Or it could be your past experience. It could be your knowledge. It could be your standards. It could be your requirement outcomes. It could be your use cases, which determines that this should happen if a user performs this. And that's what is basically referred to as the test oracle. Now, test oracles can be very well maintained in terms of defining the uh, expected uh, criteria or expected result. And then sometimes the oracle also helps you to determine the actual result, the actual outcome of the execution. When you run the test, of course, the, uh, the system throws you an actual outcome. And to judge that, whether what exactly this actual outcome is, and when you compare that with the expected, whether your test has passed or failed. So completely everything relies on the expected result that if your expected result is appropriate, you can compare with the actual and then you can determine if expected result is equal to actual, it is passed. If expected is the result is not equal to actual, then it is a failure. But everything depends on the expected result and that depends on the any such source which you can make use of to determine an appropriate expected result. And that's what you call it as test oracle. So anything, it could be user manual, your standards, which we may have organization-wide, probably your requirement outcomes, use cases which can determine you, or it could be your past experience, the application itself. So anything which helps you determining the expected result for a particular test case is called as test oracle. Okay, so that's all from this particular episode team. Should you have any other words with you, feel free to drop them below in the comment box. I'll pick that up and talk about it in our upcoming tutorials. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.